Welcome to Art by Clark. I'm Mrs. Clark and I'm going to be teaching you a really fun lesson today. It is called Hatching Chicks and here's what it looks like when it's done. And the supplies you're going to need is three eight and a half by 11 white pieces of paper. You will need a pencil, a black marker, preferably a sharpie of some sort, crayons, scissors, and glue. So if you're ready, I'm ready. So let's go. Okay. So surprisingly enough, we need three pieces of paper. We need one for the actual chick, one for the egg and one for the grass. So here we go. Step one would be that we need to draw the egg. Now this is not easy. Let me tell you, it's not easy to draw an egg, but our eggs really perfect. We're just going to really draw an oval. So I'm going to use, use a pencil and then I'll trace over later. So here we go. I'm going to try to fill the paper as much as I can. And I draw an oval. Now you see how soft it is with the pencil. That's great because, oh, I feel like I messed up that side. So you can erase and make it wider if you want. There we go. I like that better. So now that you have your egg, we actually need to cut it out. So we're going to take our scissor and we're going to cut this out. And just remember, cut away from you. You never want to cut towards you. we cut and we cut. You're basically cutting your die cut for the egg. Move your scraps out of the way and here is your egg. Oh look at that little lump. Let's cut fix that. There we go. Okay. Now we take our second piece of paper and as you see one two our second piece. I'm going to trace this egg. Here we go. And as we trace it, try to be careful, but if you mess up, it's okay. We're not perfect. So here's my egg. Now we need to draw the chick. Here's the little chick. I hope you all know your numbers because we're going to draw the number eight. Eight. Yes, eight. So I'm going to draw a circle for the head. And we're going to draw a circle for the body. Oh, and look at that. What number do you see? The eight. We're going to draw a beak. The beak is a triangle. Ooh, there's our shapes. Triangle, but it's an upside down triangle. So we have to do a letter V and put a line through it. Then we're going to do two little dots for the eyes. I like to keep it close to the beak. And then two little W's for the wings. Now, I'm going to trace him over with the Sharpie, especially the eyes, because it makes it a little easier to color in. There we go. And the wings. You can always erase any spot that you miss. Now, we take our crayons. I'm using these Faber Castle ones, but I know a lot of you have your Crayolas. And I'm going to color my chicky yellow because that's the color most chickies are. And then I'm going to do the beak in orange. So here we go. And as you see, yellow and orange. So I'm going to color him in. I didn't outline the bird. I didn't think I needed to, but you can definitely outline the birdie if you want. But either way, it's however you want to do it. Most chickies I know are yellow, 
But if you know of a different kind of chicky, you can always color that one in too. And here we go with the face, trying not to color into the beak. And just remember, it's always good to color lighter colors first and darker colors later. Just a little thing I've learned from smudging things around that black is always last, unless you use a waterproof marker, then you're okay. So as you see, which I didn't know about, it's crayons, the wrapper keeps moving, but I keep moving it back. So here we go, I'm coloring it in. Please stop moving. Here we go, he's almost all colored in. You know what I did forget to do is his feet. I'll have to do that when I do the orange. So here we go. An orange beak. Some questions I get are, can I use colored pencils? Can I use markers? Definitely. Whatever you have around the house you can use. I just prefer to use the crayons, but you can definitely use a marker or a colored pencil. I'm going to put some chicken feet on here. Got to have chicken feet. I think I finished my little chicky. Now, what to do next? We need to color around our chicky. And then we're going to add grass later. So I usually do a blue sky. You might want to do like a sunset sky. But I'm going to get my blue and I'm going to color. And just remember, stay in the lines. You don't want to color too much over. It's okay. I tend to like to also rotate my paper at times. It helps me keep the angle going nice and neat. Just remember, guys, no scribbling. No scribble scrabble. Just remember that because then you might have to do it over. And who wants to do it over unless you like to do them over? That's up to you. If you want to have two or three versions of this, it's fine. But nobody wants to do a project over. So we're coloring and we're coloring. And I'm going to keep this very simple. You can put a design. You can put flowers around your egg. But I'm just going to keep it to a blue sky. La, 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 la. Ah, whenever I'm working, I like to use a Smurfs theme. La, 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 la. So we just about have the sky done. If you see, I'm trying to keep it nice and neat. I'm changing direction by the corners. But remember, I like to keep it to one direction. I think it keeps it nice and neat. I'm going to come all the way around the egg. Coloring in. If crayons get in your way like they're doing for me, you move them out of the way. Let's turn this around a little. So far, I haven't had to rotate my chicky too much. It's kind of fun. I love coloring. It kind of relaxes me. But my ultimate favorite is painting. But coloring is my second favorite. I wonder what your favorite is. I may have to ask that one time. Because I'd love to know. It always helps me come up with good ideas. Okay, so just about done here. If you see I rotated my paper, oop, got a little over that egg, but that's okay because remember the shell is going over the egg. Looks like we're good. I'm going to patch up this little corner. There we go. Okay, now I mentioned three pieces of paper, didn't I? Well, the third piece of paper is going to be grass. And, or hay, or whatever you want to put it on. So I'm just going to color. I'll do dark. I'm going to make grass about this big. And grass usually goes in one direction. Ooh, remember that band that I like so much? Let's color in one direction. But if you got messy lawn, like sometimes I have when we don't mow it, it may go in different directions. La, 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 la. La 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 So we will do it in a little bit different directions just to show that I forgot to mow it last week. 
That happens. We all get busy. Here we go. And I'm lucky. Mr. Clark mows mine. Okay. Here we go. And if you see, I now have grass. I will cut this out using my scissors and we'll cut just below the line I made. And then to add some fun to this, we're going to put some little lines in. Remember how we learned the vocabulary words lines? Well, in this lesson, we've actually learned lines, shape, and color. Maybe getting into a little bit of form with the fact that an egg could be a sphere. But I don't know if we're really going to get into the sphere form too much, but you'll see what I mean. So as you see, I'm cutting little lines all the way across. They're vertical lines. They should not touch. If they touch, they'll cut off. And you cut all the way to the edge just on one side. There we go. Now we have our, we have our little chicky. We'll have our grass, and if you see, it's fuzzy grass. We're going to put that on last, though. Let's go get our egg. Where did I put my egg? Here it is. It's blending into the white. But we are going to put a little line right by the beak. You'll see it when you put it on. I'm just going to put a little mark there. I don't know if you can see. I'll do a little darker. I'm going to lift it up, and I'm actually going to cut into that. Now, you might be wondering, how do you do that, Mrs. Clark? Well, you actually take part of the scissor and you poke it through the paper. And then you just cut a line. And if you have trouble with that, you can always ask your parents. It's really not that difficult, though. So, now we need to flip this over. And if you don't want to see the line, you can always make that the back. You're going to get your handy dandy glue, if you see. And mine is uh, some nice uh, glue stick, but if you have white glue, that is fine. You're just going to glue the rim, just the outside. So you're going to see, I'm just going to do an, a circle. I'm going to do two coats here because glue stick tends to not stick sometimes, but you can always go back. And if you see, now I'm going to put it down on top of the chicky. There you go. Bye, chicky. Rub it in. Now you're probably thinking, what are you doing, Mrs. Clark? Trust me, you'll see. So now we're going to put our finger inside this. And what we want to make the appearance of is cracking the egg. So I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to tear it. And if you tear the piece off like this, oops, that's OK. Don't throw that out. Don't throw this out yet. This is important. Now we're going to glue the grass on next. But don't glue the grassy part, the one that we cut, because you want that to spike up. But if you see, I glued that. I'm going to put it down on top and rub it on top. And we have actually added some dimension or space to our picture by putting the grass in front. And if you see, it flips up. Now, you see this piece that I dropped, this little piece? Well, this is now, I'm going to just take the middle, the little dot, and put a piece. Oh, that's OK. That'll go away and put it right here because it's a broken shell. I'll even make it pop up a little. Now I'm going to go back, get my finger inside here, and I'm going to start tearing. But I'm also going to make it kind of go up. So it looks like cracks, like the chickie's trying to get out of his egg. Now let's get over on this side so you can see a little more of that beak that he's poking through. And look at that. 
my little chicky is just about to get out. And if he wanted to add a couple more pieces of shell down there, he could just tear another piece off. But I think I'm going to tear it and make it pop. And look at that. We're done. We made a hatching chick. Boy, look at that. We did that. You should be proud of yourself. You've learned a lot today. You've learned how to color and add space and use shapes and lines. And I had fun. I hope you did too. So I will see you again for our next lesson. Bye.